Good morning. You don't know Jack is an important part of your day. Loaded with vitamins, minerals, trivia, and trivia byproducts. So, how many people will be playing? Nobody else to play with? Well, who needs them? Is this your first time riding with us? Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy to have you back. Type your name. Wonderful, thanks. As you know, your buzzer is the key with the B on it. Well, that's all I have to say. Hope to see you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack is brought to you by the old and the senile retirement home. Send your parents to our rooms. And now, here's your host, Cookie. Hey, how's it going? You know, I probably blackmail my father, too. Except if my mother ever found out I knew about the affair, she bust both of our skulls. Yep, I love my mother. Okay, you want a little fun for the whole family? Sorry, wrong game. Okay, hit your... Here's your category. Parental logic, oxymoron, or paradox? You ready? Let's go. Which of these parental sayings is not an imperative sentence? Get a haircut. Imperative sentences give a command, and this one doesn't. Why? Because I said so. If you don't like it, tough. I'm in charge, and you'll do as I say as long as you're here. Hit your butt. I like to call this category... Muppet babies? Who are the Muppet parents? What do we got here? 3,200 and change? All right, let's do it. Considering their colors, which Muppets could most likely be Kermit's parents? Gonzo and Elmo, Big Bird and Cookie Monster, Bird and Animal, or Snuffleupagus and Miss Piggy? Yellow and blue make green. And on our next show, we'll show you how to use a box of crayons and a microwave to make all the colors of the rainbow. Good God, that's a lot of money. Here's the category. Your mama. Let's get going. Oh no, you stepped on a crack. Which of these could you not have broken? Your mother's sacrum, your mother's lumbar, your mother's occipital, or your mother's coccyx? Did your mama drop you on your head? The occipital bone isn't in her back, it's the back of your mama's skull. And unless you want to feel the back of her hand, don't bust nothing else. Hey, but we're calling this one the USO at the PTA. Okay, picture this. You've missed a ton of classes and your mom and dad are being called into a parent-teacher conference. If your parent-teacher conference occurred during the Paris Peace Conference, what would be the best excuse for all your days absent? Fighting in the trenches during World War I, storming the beaches during World War II, digging foxholes during the Korean War, or hiding in Canada during the Vietnam War? <laughs> Here's what you should have picked. The Paris Peace Conference ended World War I, and if you can simulate a little shell shock, you can probably get out of gym class, too. Okay, coming up. Test tube babies are so lucky. All right, take a look at this letter to an advice column and tell me who wrote it. My twin and I have the most embarrassing foster mother. She walks around with her teats hanging out, she dresses up in sheep's clothing, and howls at the moon when normal mothers sleep. Help! Who most likely sent this letter? Cain and Abel, Chang and Aang, Romulus and Remus, or Xan and Jane up? If you boys don't come out of that bathroom, I will huff and I'll puff and I'll blow that door down! Romulus and Remus were the twin sons of Mars that were suckled and raised by a wolf. Skip to Maloo, Shamalama Ding Dong. What? What the hell is that? 
Yeah, 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 I had a feeling it was gonna be one of these. All right, here's your real category. A diet for the constipated parent. Keep in mind, the sooner you hit your buzzer, the more cash you can pick up. Okay, think of all the trials of being a parent and then tell me what this rhymes with. Liz Hair T Bun. Heck, none. And ignore the punctuation. First clue, it involves labor. Work sucks. Make your move, type your... Caesarean section, sort of like Thanksgiving dinner, a little carving with a knife, some spilled gunk on the table, and good old-fashioned family love. Alright, it's time to choose the value of the... This one's called... Isn't everyone enamored with my baby like I am? Oh, great. It's time for a very special guest host. Uh, see, we have this great new daycare system here at work that allows me to spend a lot more time with all of my wonderful co-workers' babies. And here's one of them now. Uh, Bill? Hey, Cookie. This is my new baby girl, Candy. The mean old boss makes us work so long, I don't get to spend much time with her. But I didn't want my little Candy feeling left out, did I? So I brought her in here to ask her own question. Oh, how, how wonderful. Okay, here she goes. Speak into the mic, Candy. Well, Katie, is it right? Candy. Whatever. <laughs> if you would have listened to what's her name, you would have picked Va. It is the right answer, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, you're so funny. Aren't you the funniest little baby girl a dad could have? Yes, you are. No, oh, that's nice. I'm gonna go vomit. God, it's amazing. I mean, she's not speaking English, but you can understand everything she says. Candy, is there anything you want to add before you go? Did she just say, up yours, Cookie? No. Okay, give it up for... Double dating in the animal world. Let's see that question. Suppose Mr. and Mrs. Camel went out for the evening with Mr. and Mrs. Walrus. Given the appropriate names for the male and female of each species, of what would the party consist? Male camels and walruses are both called bulls. The females of both species are called cows. And when the four of them get together, it's really disgusting. All right, bang your buzzer and grab the... Your category is... Donuts make my brown eyes blue? Okay, you know how some genes for eye colors are dominant and some are recessive? Well, if Van Morrison's brown-eyed girl and Chuck Berry's brown-eyed handsome man have recessive blue-eyed genes, what's the chance that their child will have it? If brown-eyed parents have blue-eye recessive genes, there's a 1 in 4 chance their child will have blue eyes. And considering the gene pool, the kid would be a flamboyantly gay, born-again Christian who often ends up in jail. All right. Excuse me, I think you just stepped in roadkill. Buzz in when you see the item that correctly pairs up the two items on the screen. And don't forget, figure out the final bonus question, and I'll give you some extra cash. Okay, pop the clutch, baby. What you do on a cigarette and counter blank? What unites these two? Score. Type of truck and blank the knife. and eight life blank. Tom Hanks movie and Andre the Giant was really blank. Score. You 
universal blood donor and the roundest letter. Score. What models usually have, and they go all the way up. Term of endearment and blank Ray Leonard. Score. Okay then, bonus, what do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all nicknames containing data? That's that counted. That's gonna be your sugar daddy, count it. Alright, there it is, let's keep moving. Hey, let me just say, eh. Anyway, let's see the category. She either swallowed a goat, or she's blessed with child. So, remember those sex ed films we all saw? Pregnancy was demystified, we learned the words for sperm and ovum, and we didn't have to explain the process as he put his thing in her down there. Well, get ready to buzz and start typing. So pretend I'm holding a dandelion and help me complete this saying. Mama had a baby and... Go for it! It's a game you play with dandelions. Mama had a baby and her head popped off. And the dandelion head goes flying. And it's a hell of a lot less gross than what actually happens when Mama has a baby. It's your buzzer to select... Oh yeah, now we're talking, and here's what we're talking about. Mother Nature and her Miracle Whip. Hey, did your mom ever cut the crusts off the bread for you? Yeah, mine neither. If Mother Nature trims the crust off the Earth while making a sandwich, what will she be cutting away? The mesosphere, the hydrosphere, the lithosphere, or the movie sphere? The correct answer is... Cutting off the lithosphere gets rid of all that nasty crust. Now she'd only lay off the mayo in the egg salad. Okay, select the bell. My mom says I'm the best host ever. She also says this is your clue. Lies our parents tell us. I still wonder about the time my folks said they were making funny shapes under the blanket. Well, I don't know who would make that up. Uh, just as well, no one was around to see it anyway. Taylor, why aren't those earnings projections on my desk? I, uh, oh, uh, has this I, happened uh, to Catholic Confessions? Hear and see the deepest secrets of these faithful churchgoers through the use of hidden cameras in a confessional booth. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Could you please speak up? 
and lean back slightly. Watch as these hellbound sinners make a break for heaven. Well, I, I covet my neighbor's wife. And does she covet you back? These priests have heard it all, and now so will you. These are some of the most original sins ever. Could you describe these impure thoughts? Explicitly? Please, it's important. Remember, if they weren't guilty of something, they wouldn't be here. Friday on AGC. Mom, and bring the kids to Cubby Wadsworth's drive through Zoo. My name is Cubby. I have a zoo. You can drive through it. It's the only drive through zoo in the whole tri-state area. It's perfectly safe. Sure, the animals are wild, but the exhaust fumes tend to make them listless. There was that time, though, when those lions ripped open the sunroof on that Hyundai like they were peeling back the tab on a pudding pack. Whoa. But what the hell? You sign the disclaimer, you take your chances. We've got monkeys, we've got zebras, we've got all sorts of exotic animals, like goats and stuff. Whatever the big zoos have or don't want anymore, we have. We've even got an elephant. He's not looking too good. So you better hurry up and get down here to Cubby Wadsworth's drive through zoo. Off old Old Route 2, right next door to Cubby Wadsworth's Grill. We'll scrape off whatever's on your grill and cook it up for you real good. Baboon's mighty tasty with a slab of melted cheese on it. This week on Renacops. Yeah, we got a call for backup over at the gymnasium. Renacops takes on the mean sidewalks of Jackson Community College. It's homecoming weekend. They needed some extra crowd control. Hey, is that an open container? You can't just walk around with that. Hey, you can't pull that out. Get back here. <sighs> Okay, in pursuit of three underage drinkers. I hopped over a fence. I lost them. Hey, you! Could you turn that down? You got some complaints? Hey, you! They're throwing eggs! They're throwing eggs at me! I'm hit! I'm hit! Renacops, what they gonna do? Johnson? Yes, sir? Get in here! Isn't it a fine morning indeed? I just love the smell of trivia in the morning, don't you? Well, don't you? Well, how many of you are there? One player? Good. Competition only slows down the game. Are you a first time rider? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you right away. My apologies. Now I will ask you. Thanks a lot. If you feel like buzzing, use the letter B. These little elevator jumps always end too soon. Oh well, see you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack, The Ride, is brought to you by the old and the senile retirement home. Send your parents to... Well... <laughs> Who are you? How the hell did you get in here? I'm the Sunshine Pixie! Should work hard for your money, too. That's why we specialize in turning ordinary, middle-class people like yourself into multi-catrillionaires. Just listen. I started off with a $300 savings account, and two years later, my net worth is approximately $8.2 gazillion. We turned our life savings of $85 over to Davidson Bank, and believe it or not, we now have $16.9 small billion dollars. I, I found a buck fifty on the floor of the subway. I took it to Davison's bank and huh, here I am, a multi billionaire. I made 48 patrillion dollars. I made 200 ooplytillion dollars. Can you believe it? A wazillion dollars. I'm worth eight and a half kukla billion dollars. 39 gorgonzillion dollars. Let Davidson Bank help you achieve your goals. We guarantee you'll increase your net worth by one million dollars in the first year or you'll get half your money back in Davidson Bank. You'll make money, and we're not just making that up. This week on Renacops. Shoplifted some pens? Renacops takes on the mean corridors of Jackson Outlet Mall. It's summer vacation, so the mall's just packed with kids. Hey, I saw that. You want to open that bag? Did you pay for that? <sighs> in pursuit of three male perpetrators. Oh, they're in the arcade. Never find them in there. Hey! 
Did you just throw that candy wrapper down? How about a garbage can, young lady? I've got two sets of teens here having shopping cart races. Ooh. I'm hit! I'm down! Man down! Back up! Renacops, what they gonna do?